So listen assignments. Um, we can use lists uh, for declaring, for example, a number of scalar variables at once. So you can write my and a list of scalar variables. And this way you declare them at once. They are not collected uh, in any way. The, you just uh, sp spare and, and then you don't write my three times. Uh, at the same time when you're declaring them, you can also assign values to each one of these uh, variables. So on the left hand side you have a list of variables, of scalar variables, that each one of them is being declared at this point. And on the right hand side, right -hand side you also have a list with three values. And what happens is that the first value on the right hand side is going to be assigned to the first variable, $x, the second value to the second variable, $y, and the third value to the third variable, $z. So in this way you can write uh, one assignment and assign, declare three variables at the same time and assign the three values. But what happens if on the, one, on the right hand side there are less than or more than so the number of va values in the right hand side is not the same as the uh, number of va variables on the left hand side. Obviously you, you probably wouldn't write that uh, in, a, in a case uh, like this, so I'll use a different example. Assume that uh, you have a function called f, a brilliant name for a function, right? So assume you have a function and that function returns a number of values that, um, by the way, Perl can return, functions in Perl can re return any number of values. Anyway, so this function returns a number of values. If it returns three values exactly, then the first value is going to be assigned to $x, the second to $y, the third to $z. And as you can see, you don't have to declare at this point, so maybe these variables already existed earlier. Anyway, so this is this is what this happens when you when the right hand side has the same number of values. What happens but if if the function returns four values? Let's say these four values. So the first three are assigned to the first to the three scalar variables, and the fourth one, and if there are more than all those, are just ignored. So they just don't go anywhere. And you don't get any warnings, so be prepared that you have to think about this and you won't get any type checking or any warning in Perl. That's not the way how, how Perl works. Uh, the other thing is what happens if you if f returns less values than you're sort of expecting on the left hand side. Then the still the values are assigned in order they arrive. So the first, in this case, you get two values. So the two values are assigned to the two first two variables. And the third one is going to be undef. You remember undef is the value that you have when you haven't assigned anything to the variable. Now in this case it actually assigns the undef. So if $z had some value earlier, it will assign um, undef to that $z. So that's about the list assignment and here you usually ask uh, people and so go ahead and, and think about it. If you have two variables, $x and $y, uh, how do you swap that between them? How do you swap the, uh, the values between them?